This one event changed the lives of Palestinians forever. It's called the Nakba, and it refers to the ethnic cleansing of over 800,000 Palestinians in 1948. When European Zionist militias violently forced over 75% of the Palestinian population out of their homes and off their land, the ethnic cleansing of Palestine was not an accident or just a consequence of the May 1948 War of Independence, as Zionists love to claim. There was actually a blueprint for the ethnic cleansing of Palestine that was followed by these Zionist militias to a T. It was called called Plan Dalet or Plan D and was launched on March 10, 1948. The plan detailed the conquest of Palestine one village and town at a time. And the militias followed the plan by destroying homes, looting and pillaging villages, committing massacres and dumping Palestinians in mass graves. The plan was so successful that when Israel was established just three months after Plan D began, half of Palestine's indigenous population had already been expelled. But as we all know, Israel's ethnic cleansing project didn't stop there. Plan D helped lay out the blueprint for how Israel would deal with Palestinians for the next 76 years and how it would maintain its Jewish state through the constant elimination of Palestinian natives. The Nakba that we commemorate 76 years ago is alive now more than ever. Not just in Gaza where we're seeing mass graves looting and pillaging of entire towns and cities, but in occupied 48 lands where Palestinians face apartheid systems designed to make them second-class citizens. In occupied East Jerusalem, where every day more Palestinian land is annexed and more homes stolen. And in the occupied West Bank, where armed Zionist militias are still going around setting fire to Palestinian homes and land. There's a reason images from today look so eerily similar to those in 1948. It's because the genocide today is just a continuation of the Nakba 76 years ago. That's why...